With Riverside's new live streaming tools, you can create engaging live streams and broadcast it to multiple platforms simultaneously. And you can even add custom RTMP destinations, which means you can also live stream to Instagram. Let me show you how it works. I've logged into my Riverside account and let's go into one of our studios. I'll choose my camera, microphone, and speaker output. I'll select I'm using headphones and then let's join the studio. You'll also see the custom studio branding here, which is part of our live studio add-on. All of our pro and standard users have two color themes. You can go over to the branding tabs and choose the Riverside theme or the news flash. But when you upgrade to the Live Studio add-on, you get all these options plus custom colors and the ability to upload a custom background and logo. But let's add our RTMP destination by going to the live stream tools here. You see, I've already added a Twitch account and I can use Riverside audience mode. Again, with the Live Studio add-on, I can click the gear icon, set that to 1080p high definition live streaming and remove the Riverside watermark but I'm gonna click the plus button down here. And if I go all the way to the bottom, you'll see custom RTMP. Next, you'll be asked to name this. This is a custom name for your reference. And then to add a stream URL and stream key. I'll show you how to set this up for Instagram in a moment. And you can jump to that chapter down here in the timeline. But this is also helpful if you have a brand or company that wants to live stream on their social media channels, but isn't comfortable sharing their login information. You can ask them to set up a live stream, say on their YouTube channel, and they just have to give you the stream URL and stream key and then you can live stream from Riverside to their channel. For instance, here in my YouTube studio, I can go up to create and then go live. And here I can schedule a live stream for in the future. I can go up to schedule stream. I can reuse settings from a previous live stream or create something new. I'll add some details, even a custom thumbnail ahead of time. Choose when you would like this live stream to happen here on YouTube. You can make it public and then hit done. Once you've created that event, you'll see here a stream key and a stream URL. This is what you'll use in the Riverside live streaming tools. I'll copy the stream URL. I'll name this RTMP destination Riverside YouTube, paste the stream URL I got from YouTube, and also copy the stream key here. Paste that under the stream key and then click add. And when I hit go live, I'll now be live streaming to that YouTube channel via RTMP right here. I can disable that as a destination by just toggling it off but still keep other destinations on like Twitch and vice versa. Enable that RTMP destination, turn off Twitch, and I can customize this every time before I start recording and streaming live. And remember, even as you're live streaming with Riverside, it's still being recorded locally on device for you and your remote guests, high quality video and audio, and you'll be able to download those tracks later or edit them in the Riverside editor. But now let's set up our Instagram account for a live stream as well. I've logged into my Instagram account here, and I'm gonna go over to the create button on the left-hand side. You will have to do this on a desktop or laptop computer. I'll click live video here, and I'm gonna add a title for this Instagram live stream. Click on audience, and you can choose whether you want it to go to public, if this is just a practice stream, or to your close friends. I'm gonna use the public link. I'll click next, and now you'll see the familiar stream URL and stream key that you can set up in Riverside. I'm gonna copy the stream URL. I'll paste that here in Riverside, copy the stream key, paste that here as well, and then click add. And as you can see, I can have multiple RTMP destinations, including someone else's YouTube channel or my own, and that Instagram destination. I'll toggle off my Twitch channel, YouTube, but I'll leave Instagram on because we're gonna live stream there in a moment. Here on Instagram, it will actually show a preview of the live stream, and then I can click go live here in the top right. So let's go live. I'll click go live down here at the bottom in the Riverside studio. You'll see I'm now recording in high quality video and audio. Those files are being uploaded like normal, and I'm also broadcasting live to Instagram. Now that I see the preview here in Instagram, I'm gonna click go live so it's in the app. I can see the comments right here on Instagram. You see several people have actually joined and here I am in the Instagram app. You can see it's live, comments are coming in and this will stay live as long as my Riverside recording is going. When I'm done recording and live streaming, I'll hit the stop button down here at the bottom and that's gonna stop both the recording and the live stream going to Instagram, YouTube, or any other destinations you had set up. And now that my files have uploaded, I still have access to those high quality video and audio downloads or edit in the Riverside editor, which if you wanna learn more about the powerful Riverside editor with AI tools like removing filler words, removing silences, and even magic audio, I'll put a video on that right up here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button, because we have many more features coming very soon. You don't wanna miss it, and you'll hear about it right here on the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those personally. And if you're looking to get your podcast on YouTube, maybe understand the benefits of a video podcast for discoverability, check out this video I did right up here where I explain why you should do a video podcast and how you can get it in front of more people. Thanks for tuning in. We can't wait to see what you live stream.